Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a good quality video for YouTube in Wondershare Filmora 10. So I got a lot of questions about this topic uh, on how to export a video in Filmora 10 and how to export good quality video in Filmora 10 and how to export and upload your video to YouTube and that get high quality uh, videos in uh, Full HD or stuff like that. So I think it's very interesting to make a short tutorial for you. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm inside Filmora 10 and we are going to use this footage as an example. So this is my GoPro Hero 7 footage that I shot last week. Uh, so let's right click to see the property. So we can select property and this is my video information. And we mentioned that this is the video quality of my input. So when you export the video, your input video quality will affect the output video quality. Uh, so if the input video quality is too low, then you cannot get higher quality when exporting the video. Uh, whatever you use, Filmora 10, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, stuff like that. So it is a common uh, knowledge about making videos. So low quality, low quality input cannot export to higher quality video. Okay, so let's click OK. Now we need to drag and drop this footage onto a timeline. Okay, so we want to keep the project setting. So my project setting is the same, almost the same with the, the input setting. Uh, the only difference here is the frame rate because I shot in 60 frames per second because I want to, to make a slow motion video, stuff like that. Okay, so let's keep the project setting. And now we are going to export this video and compare the, the output video with the original video, okay? So I will put all the exported video and the original video at the link in the description uh, on my Google Drive. So you can download it and compare it yourself. Because uh, when I make a tutorial like this uh, and when I export it in, in other software like Camtasia, I will reduce the, the bitrate to 20,000 kbps and the resolution also different. So we cannot see the difference uh, on this YouTube video. Okay, uh, so let's click export here. And now if we want to export for YouTube, we, we are going to select MP, MP4 here. And then we can click this setting button. Okay, so when we click this setting button, uh, we can uh, choose the video quality right here on top. So we can choose better or good or stuff like that. But normally I will always select this option, the best quality. Okay. And now you have to pay attention to this number, the beat rate number. Normally Filmora will set the default beat rate to uh, 8,000 kilobit per second or stuff like that. Now you want to increase the beat rate because uh, it will affect your video quality. For me, I always select uh, 15,000 or 30,000 kbps for my YouTube video. And that will maintain a good video quality and also the size is reasonable. Not too big and uh, not too small. Okay, so we are going to select 30,000 and then we can click OK because we keep all the uh, all the other information is the same with our input uh, video. Okay, and then click OK. And now I can export this video. A few moments later. All right, so it finished exporting. So let's open the folder and to preview the output. Let's open it. And now we have this video. So let's play it. Very nice, right? So this is the exported video and we can play the original video also. So we can uh, right click here and review in Explorer to see the original video. So this is the original one. So let's double click. You see, it is almost the same, right? So now I'm going to export uh, export this video in different bit rates like 8,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, and 30,000, and even 60,000 also. So you can check it and see the difference yourself. I will put the link in the description. So just uh, download it. All right, so that is how to export a good quality video for YouTube in Filmora 10. And I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.